Hi everyone. This is Thursday and I have a haul video for y'all and it's my haul video from uh, Southern Thrift. And I also have one package from Amazon. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and open that now. And I also need to tell y'all that on, I think it was not the last Thursday haul video, but the one before that uh, from Salvation Army, I bought a pitcher. And I had told y'all that I had bought it in hopes to make a mold out of it. Well, I did that last night. I made a mold out of it. It turned out very, very nicely. The people on Facebook have already gotten a sneak peek of what it looks like. I'm hoping to pour that tomorrow. It has to, the, I did it last night, I took it out of the mold this morning, and the mold has to set for 24 hours before I can pour it. So I'm hoping to pour that tomorrow. And we did an open chat on our Facebook group, day before yesterday, I think. And one of the, the people on the group, I'm trying to open this, one of the people on the group said that she had used this, uh, resin and this resin is made in the here in the United States and she really liked it it had really good reviews and the cost of it was very uh, compatible to the cost of all the other resins so I thought I'd give it a try and I will let you know what I think about it and that's what it is it's called Naked Fusion. Uh, it's the 80 ounce set I got. It says low viscosity, safe to use indoors in home use, 45 minute work time, easy bubble removal, removal with a heat gun or torch, cures in 24 hours and demold in 24 to 48 hours. Okay, this may not uh, be as fast curing as what I'm used to. It says non-toxic, zero VOCs, odorless, uh, food safe. Wow, this is food safe. For serving boards, countertops, and more, waterproof, scratch resistant, heat resistant, excellent for coasters, with hot cups. Okay. Is this one to one? Yes, it is one to one. That was actually going by. She didn't wave. She could have said hello, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see here. So it is a one-to-one. -one. I am going to open it and just see what it looks like. It should just be bottles of resin, though. Okay, it doesn't say anything about being crystal clear. Oh, yes, it does. Crystal clear. <laughs> crystal clear, advanced non-yellowing formula oh no oh so i like the air pockets i reuse those wow okay now i've never had anybody bubble wrap the containers Oh wow, this is pretty special. Oh, and I swear I like these. When is uh they're both five hundred mils? Okay, they're yeah, they're the same thing. Okay. So they'll hold five hundred mils.
<coughs> Some more of those. Have y'all ever used those? Because I have not. I don't know what those are. Now this comes, this is made and comes from the, here in the United States. So, oh, these are gloves. Yeah, these are these are good gloves. Oh yeah, these are thicker gloves than what? Oh, these are good gloves, y'all. Oh, do we how many pair of gloves? You get two pair of gloves. Okay. Then you get this, which I'm assuming is like, and then you get those. There's another one of those in here too. So you get two of those. And that's what it looks like. It's part A. No, that's part B. Part A. And then it comes with Oh wow, okay, now I have never seen this before. It says scratch off your reveal bonuses. To claim your bonuses, enter and scratch off your code here. I'm gonna scratch off and see what my code is. Well maybe if I can scratch it off. But it's not, it's not easy to scratch off. This doesn't tell me what my bonus is. This just says what my bonus code is, and it says enter your code at the okay URL below within 24 hours to claim your bonus. It says over a hundred dollars worth of value so we will see. I will go to it and see what it what happens with that. And then it comes with a little booklet. It says that they recommend pouring in an indoor temperature controlled environment between 68 and 85 degrees. It says it's a premium quality clean formula. It's naked with zero VOCs, no solvents, or harmful chemical add, add, additives. It is a non-flammable. It is safe for an in-home use and non-toxic when used as directed. Naked Fusion Resin has a superior clarity with our advanced non-yellowing for, uh, formula. It says wear gloves and protective eyewear. One part hardener to one part resin. Stir your mix thoroughly for three to six minutes. Basically the same thing. It says bubbles will naturally form when mixing. Don't worry, they will remove easily with a heat gun or torch. Hmm. They have a monthly giveaway for their crafters resin. 
It says it is food safe. After a week. It needs to be cured for a week and then it's food safe. It is heat resistant to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and works great for coasters. It is compatible with mica powder, alcohol inks, and most resin dyes. The shelf life of the resin kit is a year. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm sort of excited about trying that. I like the fact that it's made here in the United States. Thank you, Laura, for letting me know. She is the one that was in the Facebook group uh, when we had the open chat. And I was asking everybody what kind of resin they used. And she said this and the fact that it was made here in the United States and the price was not any different. So. Naked Fusion. Okay, and I will keep the bubble. And I like the containers. Okay. Dollar Tree. No, I, ha I got a few things to the Dollar Tree, but not very many. I did get this. Not that I need it for the lens cleaner. I got, I was looking at the glasses. My other glasses broke. I don't know if you even noticed, but I've got these silly things on. I don't like them. Um, but I needed another spray bottle, and I'm just going to empty out the, the, the lens solution. I don't need that, and use that, so I have a little alcohol spray bottle up here. And then I got this, got the dollar, okay, this is more baby wipes. And that's what I normally that's where I buy my baby wipes. Then I got more paper cups. Those are the smaller ones for um, the resin downstairs. And I was looking for another thing to pour on to make molds with. Now they had this. I don't know how well that's going to work, but we're going to try this and see. But then I got another, I got one of these two just set if I had several different things because I don't have one of those downstairs. And so I thought, well, that might be good to have too. So I got those. And yes, my sink is still stopped up. And yes, I did buy two, uh, Fish pants at the uh, Dollar Tree, and then I ran into Big Lots and got some more Drano Max Gel. It's not. I sucked all the water out of it using a turkey baster because <laughs> I, I washed the dishes that I could uh, last night, and there was a little bit of water, so I took a tur turkey baster and I was squeezing it. I got it all up, and you couldn't even tell there was any water in it. But when I poured maybe a fourth of a cup of the Drano, it, it just popped up and it's still sitting there. And that was over, I don't know, two hours ago. Okay, this is, now it was senior day at Salvation Army. This is dirty, it needs to be cleaned up. I've not done anything to this stuff. And it says it's for spice, spices. It says spice stack. And I'll try to hold it up and pull it out so you can see if they don't all. You see what it what it is? But I figured I could utilize that for maybe micas or you know, there's no telling. But it, 
it's actually metal. It's not plastic, it's metal. That's the back of it. And I paid four dollars for this before my 25% discount. I got a, a lot of really cool stuff. Okay, now red was half off today and blue was a dollar. Now this is Pampered Chef, but y'all know what I'm going to do with this, right? I paid $3 for this. I'll go ahead and open it so you can see how much of them in there. Oop, I just hit that. Do you see that? I have a mold for my own house. That's the back. The other side. It's the front. That's so cool. I'm going to have fun doing that. And yeah, um, you could embellish that. You could, yeah. That, that was a no-brainer for three bucks. And they actually had... Okay. And all this stuff was on sale. I paid a dollar. And I, this is better, better Homes and Gardens. And somebody has sticky stuff. See that? That has to be, it has to be cleaned up. And it isn't for a cake or a pie, but I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to use it downstairs. And then I got this. I got this for John. He's a big Harry Potter. Um, and I paid three for this. But he's, he's a big Harry Potter fan. It's slithering. See, it like the handle is the snake, and that's S L Y. Do you see how it does that? And then it's got their emblem, and it's a Hallmark Harry Potter. And I don't know what the date is. Normally these are dated, but. I don't know. But yeah, I knew he would like it, so. And look at this, y'all. Do you see that? Yeah, I actually found that. This is $5.99 before my discount of 25%. And it all came together. I'm cutting it open. And I need to be cleaned. But there's that mold. See, I didn't have any of those little bitty. There's that mold. I'm not even sure exactly what that is. Do y'all know what that is? Half of a circle. <laughs> I got half the circle. Or maybe it goes... Nope. That. And I didn't have any of these. I didn't even pour that part.
Yeah, they're dirty. They need to be cleaned up. And I had one of those, actually. And I think this is the same one like I've got. That I use a lot. But I just thought that was so neat. And so I don't have the, the bottom to that. That's a cool one right there. And I, I, yeah, I think those are going to be fun. And I like those. And I don't have a clue to what that thing is. I don't know what it is. to make a mold out of. It's true stained glass. I got this for me. <laughs> I like the color. And we use the Himalayan uh, pink salt. And so. I just thought it was cute. And it's coming in blue more so. This is more of a, uh, a tilly color. More There's more green in it than what's coming through on the, the camera for some reason. And then I got these, and I saw these last week, and I didn't get them, but I'm glad because I got them for half price because they're red tickets. <laughs> See, red. And uh, I thought these were super cute. They're cups. Let's just take a hike. And one says Happy Camper. And I paid two dollars. Minus the uh, twenty five percent discount. Out. Okay, I got those. They were fifty, fifty cents. And I don't know what they are. But I'm going to take the top. I'm going to try to take the top part out and use them. Do y'all know what those are? Are those little inserts for your car that go down in your cup holders for your car? Is that what they are? That's not what I'm going to use them for. I'm going to try to separate it. If I can't, then they'll just go in that way. But I just thought they were cute. And I got two packs. Let's see. Does it say? Nope, it just says cute rainbow elephant. It looks like something that came off of Timu. <laughs> but I bet those are those little inserts you put down in your car. Here for the cup holders. And then I got this for a dollar. 
Not that I needed <coughs> the one that says Happy Valentine's Day. I probably would never use that, but I thought the heart stamp was pretty. I'm real excited about. Not because of the jar, but what's inside the jar. And I believe this is red too. I'm trying to open it. Jar looks like. There's a lot of sand in the jar. Can y'all see that? Sand towers. And I have such a hard time finding sand dollars. I'm, yeah, there's a lot of sand. I'm going to make some mold molds with the littlest ones. And maybe some of the larger ones. I don't know yet. But it's just, it's a bunch of sand dollars. And then... There's some shells in here, but the majority of them are sand dollars. It's just bukus and bukus of sand dollars. These are all sand dollars. And I'm not going to get them all out, but it's just, it's just a bunch of sand dollars, and I'm going to clean them good. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this jar. Because I'm sure I can find something to do with it. And I didn't buy it for the jar. I bought it for the sand dollars. And I'm going to get the, the sand cleaned up before it gets all over everything. going to go online. I'm going to resell these. I don't do cross stitch. Um, I don't know. Um, I paid $1.99 before my discount. It sells for $22.31 at Hobby Lobby. And it's a Thomas Kincaid it's never been used. The yarn is still in there. Um, there's the, the actual cross stitch. And I got that strictly to uh, resell. It's a 1996. So it's a vintage cross stitch one. Yeah. <laughs> 
<coughs> then I also got this one uh, to resell. This is a cross stitch pick, Mickey Unlimited. And this has never been used either. There's the, the yarn and there's the actual. Uh, of course, it's got the instructions and everything. Everything's here, even though it's been open. And that's gonna, I'm gonna put that up for sale also. And then I got these. And these are templates. And I thought this would be good to have. Uh, I'm looking to see how I can open this. I thought this would be good to have. Where, you know, when you have paper, like I did a lot of those um, printed papers off of TMA. Y'all know I, I did a lot of them. And I thought, oh, this would be wonderful. And you can't see it this way. But it's, it'd be wonderful to be able to place on the paper to see where you want it. And then you could cut it out in different designs. And you just use a, a pen or a pencil or whatever. And, and you've got uh, some templates. So I got that to, to use. And then they had these. They're called Fresh Cuts, Ready-Made Accents for Instant Page Creations. Well, I don't do scrapbooking, but you know that all of that uh, goes together. Uh, you can use the same stuff in resin art and clay work and, and scrapbooking. It, it all can be interchangeable. So. I don't know what I don't know what's in here. I've not opened it yet. But they had two of them. I'm assuming they're about the same. I'm trying to get them out of the package. when you hit the funny bone oh, that's what it felt like okay these are cool yeah these are really cool Ooh, I really like this one Oh, I like this one too. <gasps> Gee, knows my nails aren't quite green anymore. I had to scrub them though. And there's that one. And you know, when you get stuff like that, you can always print them off to have more. If, oh, there's the fishing one. Yeah, you can always scan and, and print more. So you have more. And you could put it on uh, uh, heavy paper. And that was those two. I 
Oops, I have done. Oh, I have got these. These are purses. This one I'm going to be selling, <laughs> even though I really like it. I don't need any purses. I got it because it is, it's a straw purse. Well, it's not straw. It's like almost macrame. That's if I don't decide to keep it. <laughs> I'm bad about purses, y'all. It's the inside. I like the strap on it. It's got a nice thick strap. And then I really like this brand of purses. Sack roots. I have a couple of these. They're very well made. And of course, it's got the adjustable strap. I like the design. Wow. That was inside of it. There's a dime. That's what the inside looks like. It's got a zipper pocket. And then it's got two Compartments. Now, this part. <clears throat> see how that part is? The part of this is peeling off. I will peel all the rest of it off. And redo that part of it. And I will probably put some brown dye, which is a vinyl that was on it. See the same thing around there. And that's what wears out the most on these. But the actual construction of the purse is just really, really good. But this stuff, and that is easy to get off. You just take a little... And, I, and I've got my X-Acto knife here. And then if I said here, I could get all this off within a couple of minutes, and it would be all black. And that would work if I didn't want to do anything else to it. Just getting it off. But, yeah, I really like that. And then I got those for a dollar. It's just three small little canvases just to play around with, experiment around, and try different things. And then I got me. Oops. 
gonna be it's gonna be big. That's okay. That's cute. I don't know if you can see it good or not. But I really like the material and I like the design of it. And it's sort of a a silky. And I just really liked it. And I don't know if it's even a brand. Uh, new, di new Directions. But I just like the style of it. And then, and this was a dollar. And then I got this one for a dollar too. And this is Go Couture. It's a size large. And this is made in the USA. See, made in the USA. And I just really liked the style of this. I don't know if you can. Let me back up. I'll stand up. Now, if you still can't see it. It's long. And see how it, yeah. That's sort of, it's uneven. It goes down to the slant. But I just thought that was really cute. And for a buck. Okay, and then this stuff This is the last bit And I do this quite a bit if I can find jewelry at a good price And it's stuff that I know that I will use I will buy necklaces and I will take them apart for the beads and I always when I do this I always look and see how big the hole is in the bead you don't want to buy a necklace and the hole is so tiny you'll never be able to use it I've done that and, and I've learned from uh, experience that I always look at the hole and make sure that it's halfway decent size before you get it and then I got these. And the same thing. Now this is a smaller hole, but it's not so tiny that I couldn't use it. But there's so many different kinds of beads on here. Is that going to focus? Those are some pretty beads. But look at those beads. Those are individual shells. All put together. Oh, good. Okay, some of them fell off. Nope, you can't see them that way. Let me hold them up. I wish you could see them better. It's not focusing for some reason. Let me do this. Let me see if I can get this. I don't know if I can or not because I've got it in a weird way tonight. And I don't want to break my thing, but can y'all see? Ooh. That was not good. Can y'all see it better this way? I'll just hold it because I don't, I don't have very much left, and I want you to be able to see. Oh yeah, you can see those really good that way. See that. That was worth the dollar that I paid for them because there's clusters and see the beads. Now you can see them really, really good. And 
And so I got that necklace for that. Then of course, those are the ones I showed you a minute ago. And these are wood. But look at all this, y'all. This is three separate necklaces. And they're all little tiny shells. Look at that. So anytime I find something like this for a dollar, I'm going to uh, buy it. I'm still looking for the really colorful seashells. But I like the natural colors, too. I like the, uh, these are just really, really pretty. And so I got three. And I think that's it. Oh, let me see if I can show you the sand dollars a little bit better. Now that I've got them down. Let's see, look at that. I love sand dollars. And you just don't find the, you don't find them very easily. But they definitely need to be cleaned. That's a cool one right there. There's a bunch of them. See all the sand? There's a bunch of sand in here too. But there's bukus of them in here. So I was happy about that. Well, let's go over and look at the sink. <laughs> Let's see if the Drano has gone down. You see my aloe vera plant? I've had this thing for over 15 years. The cat sat on it. Can you tell where the cat sat on it? These are new little babies coming up. But this thing has saved so many burns throughout the years. I try to grow plants. I'm not real good at it. That's a basil plant that needs to be watered. Okay. See my sink? It looks like it would be good. Right? Turn the light on. See that turkey baster? Oh, keep one of these. This is going to be a lifesaver for you if you have. <laughs> I want to show y'all. You see that? You see the liquid in there? That's not liquid. That is Drano, still setting in there. And that was the gel, that was the, yep. Yeah, I bet you nobody's ever showed you the real close up of drains, or have they? <laughs> yeah, that's what we used, that's right here. Nothing's working. Yep, we got two. Well, alrighty, y'all. Uh, that is it. Yeah, that's my craft table. <laughs> that's junky, huh? Alrighty. That is going to be it for this video.
Yeah. You're seeing my old ugly face again. <laughs> uh, and hopefully tomorrow there will be a resin video because I really want to get... Um, and I probably could walk downstairs to show you all the sneak peek, but you know what? I'm doing a short uh, with that. So watch out for the short. I'm hopefully be able to get that on tonight and you'll be able to get the sneak peek also. And if you want to see things a little bit quicker than what YouTube gets it on, you need to jump on over to the Facebook group and join it. Uh, we do have open chats. We They do get sneak peeks before y'all on YouTube because it's easier to do on Facebook. I can't post pictures and stuff on YouTube, and I can do that over there. So we'd love to have you over there. And yes, we ordered Mexican tonight because I don't want to have to cook. My kitchen's clean. I don't have any water. I can't. Well, I have water. I just, I can't dry my sinks. Um, so we'd love to have you over there uh, on Facebook. And also, I think the last time I looked, we needed 50. 50 to uh, reach the goal of 2000 by February the 14th. It's very, very doable. This is the 8th. I have seven days. Well, six days and a few hours left now um but yeah it's very doable and i'm hoping if we if we hit the 2000 i will be doing a giveaway i'm not sure what i'm going to be giving away yet but it uh it may be to several uh people and I, i'm not sure what it will be yet um but we will celebrate it somehow and um so I'm excited about that, and I want to thank each and every one of you. I do appreciate all of my viewers. I appreciate my subscribers, even those that, for some reason, have not subscribed. I do appreciate each and every one of you, and if you're new, I keep forgetting to do this, but if you're new, my name is Beth, and I, and I am so glad that you're here, and welcome, and I hope that you'll come back. I do uh, a little bit of uh a lot of different things and uh, this is sort of different but it does involve some craft stuff I'm always looking for craft stuff that I can buy but I also resell online so I'm also always looking for stuff to put on eBay and Posse Macari and I share that with you too and of course my love of crafts I I share every time I do any kind of crafting and um, sometimes it's resin sometimes it's clay Sometimes it's UV resin. Sometimes it's painting. You just never know with me. <laughs> okay, I hope y'all have a great evening. And hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. If I can turn this off.